Today I'm here because of one issue. This gender-based violent issue. I'm standing here because something has to be done. And it has to be done now. Not tomorrow. Not any other day. It has to start today. We are here because we are laying, we are putting our sisters to rest. But we are also here to raise our voices. We need to be heard as women. We need people to understand that we are not truth. We are not anyone's property. <laughs> Men understand this. We are assets, but we are also someone's children. Please respect us. Please love us. Please value our hard work. As an athlete, I understand what it takes for me or for any one of us to reach where Agnes had reached. It takes so many hours, so many days, so many months, and years of preparation, years of sacrifice for us to raise that flag so high and for the whole country to feel so proud of their athletes. I just have one issue. As women, we have people that we have elected to represent us in the parliament, in the society that we look up to. In the name of women representatives, where are you? Are you doing anything for us? Our women representative from Nandi County. I am from Nandi County, Captain location to be specific. I have never seen you anywhere in my village. Where are you? Have you created any seminars to reach out to these victims of domestic violence? Do you understand the root cause of these issues that we go through every single day? I want to remind you, the reason why you are there is because of me and the rest of the women here. So don't forget that. Don't forget that, that we selected you, we elected you to be our voice. To sit there in a parliament, present laws, present issues that we have. That way something can be done. But what are you doing? You're sitting and watching. Girls like Agnes get killed every single day. It happens in every single village, every day. It's only that Agnes was a hero. That's why her story is all over the world. But it happens every single day. Madam Kihiga, I know she will see this. Boshole, you're very vocal. We all know you. We see you, we recognize you. We see you, we, we know what you're about to say because you are powerful women. You are powerful when it comes to politics, but you are not powerful when it comes to women issues. disappointed and it has come to a point where we need to make changes. Women representatives, if you are not going to do anything for me, for my sister, for my mother and the generation to come, please go home. You don't belong there. You are not supposed to be there. So, I know family, I'm so sorry. I am raising issues. It's supposed to be the day for you to mourn the loss of our daughter, our hero, our legend, our champion. But I understand that at the end of this event, no one is going to come back to ask you how you truly feel, what you're going through, the nightmares that you will go to suffer from, from now on until the moment that you finally heal. So I, allow me to take this moment to address them and let them understand that we are in pain and we need something to change. My question for the President of the Republic of Kenya, His Honorable Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, how do you feel when an athlete raises the flag so high at the finish line? How do you feel? Do you feel proud? Do you feel like we are the loyal citizens that you are so proud of? Now my question is, 
How did you feel when you got the news about Agnes? Did you feel pain? Is anything going to be done? Have you done anything so far? Mr. President, please, we do not want to continue hearing you ask for people or like um, command for these suspects to be arrested. We want you to command for laws to be passed that protect women and children in this country. Another thing, at least we are very strong people. We are very strong in our minds and in our hearts. We endure so much. But it's my suggestion that Mr. President and all the members of the government present here today do something. Please, the least you can do for us athletes is to make sure that we have a life insurance. Families like Agnes' family, if they are lucky enough, they would have something left from Agnes. If not, what is going to happen to the five or seven children that she was helping? Are they going to continue with their education? So this is where the life insurance comes in. The life insurance is going to help these families of lost daughters in situations like this. For them to continue living the normal lives that people like Agnes had put their families she had raised the bar for her family, and we don't want her brothers and sisters to go hungry, to not have clothes, and to not go to school. We need this life insurance because it will help us athletes. Finally, for my beloved governor, Wakili Sang, we have some work to do. Sir, I'm requesting you, give us time. We have a foundation that we are going to bring up for Agnes in her honor. I would like that organization to be registered in Andy County if you like, or if you respect my opinion. And we want it to be fully funded by the government because we need to reach out to every single victim of gender-based violence in our county, in our society. It doesn't matter if it's Wasingishu, Elgeo Maraquet, Nandi County, this has to end. And it starts from home where Agnes lived.